When it comes to web conferencing tools, Zoom has taken the business world by storm over the last year. As more businesses have increased need for remote work, Zoom's easy implementation and free pricing option has made it a popular choice. Before Zoom, Skype was the king of the web conferencing space, but more recently Microsoft has started to phase out Skype for business in favor of the more robust Microsoft Teams. Is Microsoft Teams good enough to take back the video conferencing crown from Zoom? Let's take a look at how they stack up compared to each other. The core difference between Zoom and Microsoft Teams is that Zoom is a dedicated video tool, while Microsoft Teams is a collaboration tool. This means that while Zoom focuses on easy to use, high quality video, Microsoft Teams includes features such as text chats, private messaging, and integrations with Office 365 software that makes it easy for users to collaborate on work together in real time. With this in mind, it might sound like the choice is easy. Zoom for businesses looking for the best quality video they can get, and Teams for businesses looking for a collaboration tool with more to offer beyond just video. This isn't a bad understanding of the products, but there are some nuances to consider in terms of pricing, your business's IT infrastructure, and what specific video features you need. Both Zoom and Teams offer a limited free version of their web conferencing tool, as well as premium options with more robust features. Zoom's free tier allows for unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings and 40-minute group meetings for up to 100 people. This tier will be enough for many businesses that primarily host one-on-one -on -one meetings. All of Zoom's other price tiers consist of a monthly fee per user, so if you only have a few users that need to lead long group calls, you only need paid licenses for those users, while other users can all be on the free plan. Paid licenses range from $14.99 to $30 per month, and include features like HD video, automatic meeting recording and storage, and transcription services. Microsoft Teams' free tier includes call support for up to 300 people, but with a time limit of one hour on all calls, one-on-one, -on -one or group. This time limit is a little longer than Zoom's free tier, but it is more limited in that it doesn't give unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings like Zoom does. Higher pricing tiers for Microsoft Teams cost $5 to $20 per month and include unlimited calls, as well as robust collaboration tools such as terabytes of file upload space and real-time collaboration in Office applications. One important thing to note is that Teams pricing tiers also include other Microsoft applications, so if you need a cloud storage solution like OneDrive or Office apps like Word, these come bundled in with Teams. On the flip side, this also means that if you already have Microsoft Office products like Word and Excel, you may have access to Teams already at no additional charge. When it comes to pricing, Teams is a little cheaper than Zoom, but Zoom arguably has a stronger free tier due to its support for unlimited one-on-one -on -one calls. As pricing tiers increase, Zoom's premium features are focused on improving the video experience, while Teams' higher pricing tiers are a little cheaper and include more collaboration features and storage space. Zoom and Microsoft Teams both offer the essentials when it comes to text chat and video conferencing, but they have some specific feature differences that are worth considering when you're selecting one for your business. Zoom offers integrations with calendar and email applications with all of the popular tools like Gmail, Outlook, and more. These integrations make it easy to schedule meetings and even easier for participants to join meetings as they can use a single click on a meeting invitation. Users also note that Zoom provides higher quality video compared to other tools, so if quality of video and audio is the highest concern for your business, Zoom is a strong choice. Microsoft Teams, on the other hand, is specialized in its integrations with Microsoft software. It's very easy to share and collaborate on documents and schedule meetings, assuming you're using Microsoft software. For businesses using other calendar, office, or email applications, the integrations offered by Teams are either less developed or may not exist. In this way, Teams offers excellent support for Microsoft users, but may leave something to be desired for businesses using other suites of Office software. Another key differentiator for Microsoft Teams is its collaboration features. Group chats can be created easily with document sharing and real-time collaboration features. Zoom does offer simple text chat, but it doesn't offer in-app document collaboration or nearly as many options for user permissions in groups. 
Lastly, while Teams isn't as simple as Zoom for inviting external participants to meetings, internal team members can very easily get into a voice chat or call with a single click, even without an invitation. Between the two software options, Zoom offers more robust video features while Teams offers better text chat and collaboration features. Additionally, Zoom works really well for businesses that don't use and don't want to use Microsoft software for their office or email solutions, while Teams is easy to implement for businesses using Microsoft software already. Considering features and price, Microsoft Teams is an ideal tool for businesses that use Microsoft software or want office software bundled in with their video tool. Zoom is ideal for businesses that work on a non-Microsoft infrastructure, and it also provides a more robust free option with its unlimited one-on-one -on -one calling, while Microsoft Teams offers more affordable premium versions, and many businesses using Microsoft Office software will already have it without any additional fees. If you still aren't sure which tool is the right one for you, consider checking out some reviews for either product on TrustRadius.com. Reviews on TrustRadius are all from real users of the product who share their experience with the software based on their experience, background, and technical ability. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it, consider subscribing to make sure you never miss an upload.